Let's pray the prayer before the rosary. Queen of the Holy Rosary, you have deigned to come to Fatima to reveal to the three shepherd children the treasures of grace hidden in the rosary. Inspire my heart with a sincere love of this devotion in order that by meditating on the mysteries of our redemption, which are recalled in it, I may be enriched with its fruits and obtain peace for the world, the conversion of sinners, and the favor which I ask of you in this rosary. Let's pray for all of those out there who may be suffering. I ask it for a greater glory of God, for your own honor, and for the good of souls, especially for my own. Amen. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was crucified under Pontius Pilate, suffered, died, and was buried, and descended into hell, and on the third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and sits at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From thence he shall come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, and the resurrection of the body and life everlasting. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. For the virtues of faith, hope, and love. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O oh, my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell. And lead all souls to heaven, especially those in most need of thy mercy. O oh, Mary, help me to see God's love for me today. The first joyful mystery, the Annunciation. I desire the love of humility. Think of the humility of the Blessed Virgin when the angel Gabriel greeted her with these words, Hail, full of grace. Let's offer our prayers up for all of those who may um, have difficulties coming back to church due to the COVID or maybe some other things that are maybe preventing them from coming to church, that they may be able to find comfort in our Lord Jesus. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. 
Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Oh, oh my Jesus, Jesus forgive us our sins, save us, us from, from the fires, fires of hell. hell. And lead all souls to heaven, especially those in most need of thy mercy. O Mary, help me to see God's love for me today. St. Wilford, pray for us. The second joyful mystery is the visitation. I desire charity towards my neighbor. Think of Mary's charity in visiting her cousin Elizabeth and remaining with her for three months before the birth John the Baptist. Let's say this for all the religious orders, all the priests and deacons and all the nuns, and all those that are considering the vocation of the priesthood and pray for people to consider this so that we can continue and carry on with our faith. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. 
Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, and lead all souls, souls to heaven, heaven especially those in most need of thy mercy. O Mary, help me to see God's love for me today. And St. Wilfred, pray for us. The third joyful mystery, the nativity. I desire the love of God. Think of the pro pro poverty so lovely accepted by Mary when she placed the infant Jesus, our God and Redeemer in the manger in the stable of Bethlehem. Let's offer this up for the sick in all our nursing homes and sick in all our parishes and anyone else who needs our prayers, and especially for Larry Connor. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give, give us this day our daily bread and, and forgive us our, our trespasses. trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, and lead all souls to heaven, especially those most need of thy mercy. O Mary, help me to see God's love for me today. And St. Wilfred, pray for us. The fourth joyful mystery, the presentation. I desire a spirit of sacrifice. Think of Mary's obedience to the law of God in presenting the child Jesus in the temple. Let's offer our prayers for all of 
those who may be searching for what makes them happy in life and may and may they be able to find that happiness of being our Lord Jesus. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O oh, my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell. And lead all souls to heaven, especially those in most need of thy mercy. O Mary, help me to see God's love for me today. And St. Wilfred, pray for us. The fifth joyful mystery, the finding in the temple. I desire zeal for the glory of God. Think of the deep sorrow with which Mary sought the child Jesus for three days, and the joy with which she found him in the midst of the teachers in the temple. Let's offer this up for all the people that are traveling and working in the fields to try and finish up. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give, Give us this day our daily bread and, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. 
Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins. Save us from the fires of hell. And lead all souls to heaven, especially those most need thy mercy. O Mary, help me to see God's love for me today. And St. Wilfred, pray for us. Hail, Holy Queen, Mother of mercy, our life, our sweetness, and our hope. To thee we cry for banished children of Eve. To thee we send up our sighs, mourning and weeping in this valley of tears. Turn then, most gracious Advocate, thine eyes of mercy towards us, and after this our exile shall unto us the blessed fruit of thy womb, Jesus. O clement, O loving, O sweet Virgin Mary, pray for us, the Holy Mother of God, that we may be worthy of the promises of Christ. O God, whose only begotten Son, by his life, death, and resurrection, has purchased for us the rewards of eternal life. Grant we beseech thee that meditating upon these mysteries of the most holy rosary of the Blessed Virgin Mary, we may imitate what they contain and obtain what they promise through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. May the divine assistance remain with us. Amen. May the souls of the faithful departed through the mercy of God rest in peace. Amen. Amen. St. Michael, the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of heavenly hosts, by the power of God, thrust into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who prowl about the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.
Good afternoon, everybody. Uh, today's uh, Mass is being offered uh, for the repose of the soul of Ava, so do remember her in your prayers today in particular. And, of course, we are celebrating the feast day of St. John of the Cross. And um, I'm going to try a, a quick uh, review just to see how everybody does. Uh, St. John of the Cross has a very big significance for St. Wilfred's Church. Why? I should say, actually, St. Joseph's more than even St. Wilfred's. Any guess? And what has that got to do with anything? He's a Carmelite, but whose spirituality did we have touching our lives recently? Father Paul. Father Paul, exactly. Father Paul, and he's directly linked. To the, his spirituality was right with St. John of the Cross. So many of his homilies, and I know a lot of people who are listening to his homilies going, where is this guy coming from? And it's like, oh. St. John of the Cross, and most of his homilies were really based on St. John of the Cross. So today, as we join the Carmelites in a very special way, uh, uh, Sisters of Alexandria, uh, the Carmelite, their spirituality would follow more of St. Teresa of Avila, but again, connected so closely with St. John of the Cross as well, and remembering Father Paul in particular as he begins his ministry in India now. So with that in mind, through his, the intercession of St. John of the Cross, let us say together the entrance antiphon, May I never boast except the cross of our Lord Jesus Christ, through which the world has been crucified to me and I to the world. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, Amen. the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mystery. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words and what I have done and what I have failed to do through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. And therefore, I ask the Blessed Mary, ever virgin, all the angels and saints, and to you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. O God, who gave the priest St. John an outstanding dedication to perfect self-denial and love of the cross, grant that by imitating him closely at all times, we may come to contemplate eternally your glory through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of Numbers. When Balaam raised his eyes and saw Israel encamped tribe by tribe, the Spirit of God came upon him, and he gave voice uh, to his oracle. The utterance of Balaam, son of Beor, uh, the utterance of a man whose eyes, uh, who eye is true, the utterance of one who hears what God says and knows what uh, the Most High knows, of one who sees what the Almighty sees and enraptured and with eyes unveiled, how goodly are your tents, O Jacob, your encampments, O Israel. We are like gardens beside a stream, like the cedars planted by the Lord. His uh, well shall yield free-flowing waters. He shall have the sea within reach. The, uh, his king shall rise higher, and his royalty shall be exalted. Then Balaam gave voice to his oracle. The utterance of Balaam, the son of Beor, the utterance of man whose eye is true, the utterance of one who hears what God says and knows what the Most High knows, of one who sees what the Almighty sees, enraptured with eyes unveiled. I see him, though not uh, now. I behold him, though not near. A star shall advance from Jacob, and the staff shall rise from Israel. The word of the Lord. Be to God. Teach me your ways, O Lord. Teach me your ways, O Lord. Your ways, O Lord, make known to me. Teach me your paths. Guide me in your truth and teach me, for you are God my Savior. Teach me your ways, O Lord. Remember that your compassion, O Lord, and your kindness are from of old. 
In your kindness, remember me because of your goodness, O Lord. Good and upright is the Lord. Thus shall he, uh, thus he shows sinners the way. He guides the humble to justice. He teaches the humble his way. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Show us, Lord, your love and grant us your salvation. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. When Jesus had come into the temple area, the chief priests and the elders of the people approached him as he was teaching and said, By what authority are you doing these things? And who give, uh, gave you the, this authority? And Jesus said to, uh, to them in reply, I shall ask you one question, and if you answer it for me, then I shall tell you by what authority I do these things. Oh, uh, where uh, where was John's baptism from? Was it uh, heavenly or of human origin? They discussed this among themselves and said, if we say of heavenly origin, he will say to us, then why do you not believe uh, why did you not believe him? But if you say of human origin, we fear the crowd for they all regard John as a prophet. So they uh, said to Jesus in reply, we do not know. He said, he, uh, he himself said to them, neither shall I tell you by what authority I do these things. The gospel of the Lord. Praise to the Lord Jesus Christ. Uh, interesting because uh, yesterday's gospel uh, with uh, Gaudaute Sunday, uh, the gospel was where he had the priests and Levites going to John out in the desert and asking him, by, by what authority are you doing this? And of course, the very Pharisees that we hear in today's gospel are now asking Jesus the same question they asked John. And of course, uh, what we should be hearing in our ears with Jesus is John's message. He is the prophet. And what was it? Make straight the way of the Lord and uh, make sure that you are preparing yourself for the coming of the Christ. And here we have the, prof, uh, the, uh, the Pharisees looking right into the eyes of Christ. And of course, Jesus is saying to them, you know, it can come right from the prophet's mouth and you still are not going to prepare the way of the Lord. Here I am right in front of you. I'm not even going to bother to talk to you anymore. And of course, why? They were planning to kill him. They were out to kill him. They, they, that's one thing about uh, absolute power. It will corrupt absolutely. And this is what the Pharisees are suffering from. They are suffering from a sense of absolute power that even God himself will not get in their way of, of being able to manipulate this world. Now, with that in mind, I'd like you to think about St. John of the Cross a little bit. We don't really talk too much about this man. We hear about St. Teresa of Avila. And, of course, uh, both of them were reformers of the Carmelites. Now, you have to kind of remember back in the time, uh, to be a Carmelite was considered, whoa, you know, uh, wow, we, uh, this, is, this is pretty good stuff. And as a matter of fact, what would happen is uh, if you were of uh, a wealthy uh, uh, family, what the family would do is make sure they would send off one of the sons or one of the daughters to don't go become a Carmelite because that would give you great prestige uh, in the sight of the world. The only problem that occurred is the reason why the Carmelites were seen with such great prestige is, of course, the founders themselves. And a problem that was occurring, though, is that the more wealthier people, when they would start going into the Carmelites, uh, were not quite used to uh living the way that Carmelites wanted to live. And so as a result, over the centuries, over the years, uh, they started going for more of the luxury than the rule, not following the rule, but, but liking the things that this world would provide. And they would bring that into the monastery and into the uh, convents. And, and with St. Uh, John and St. Uh, Teresa of Avila together, they, they started the reforms. They, they said, hey, we, we got to get back to our roots. We got to get back uh, to the founders and how the founders wanted us to live. And of course, that means to live simply and also to do something that, that is, is a message to us in the 21st century, to live 
or sacrifice, to offer sacrifice, to, to go without, as a matter of fact, to, to make uh, your, your lives just a little bit more miserable and uncomfortable. Why? Because what we need to do is constantly remind ourselves we don't live for this world, but rather for the kingdom of God. We make penance in our lives as Carmelites to, to make penance for, for the world, to, to pray for those that are away from the church, to, to do sacrifices necessary to join God and Jesus on the cross, because from the cross, we are able to gain our salvation. And of course, as soon as the Carmelites had John of the Cross come into their monasteries, immediately their response was, oh, finally, we we got a man that will return us to the rule to go back to the to the founder's will. We were so excited that he's here with us, right? Wrong. Oh boy, the very first thing they did was get wanted to get rid of him because they were going to make their, their lives uncomfortable. They they were used to being in, in comfort. And, and John of the Cross was calling them to be uncomfortable, and not only just spiritually, but also physically. And of course, uh, his reforms that he was trying to produce uh, in, in the monastery were so rejected, as a matter of fact, that as, as he was being superior and trying to bring about uh, reforms, they, they wanted him out of there, out of their lives. So much so that they even poisoned his food. They were even poisoning him, trying to get rid of him, you know. And of course, uh, miraculously, he would always be able to, to basically burp off the poison, you know, He's, but still live a... Give them an example. God is calling me to to you as Carmelites to, to go back to a simpler way. And of course, we are called in the 21st century, especially during Advent, uh, to also make sacrifices. But this is one thing that I'm not going to really push this year uh, or last year, but it is something that we need to start pushing into the 21st century to, to start talking about times of Lent and times of Advent to be a time where we do make ourselves uncomfortable as, as, as Christians and as Catholics, that we, we make sacrifices for the so for the sake of Jesus Christ, to join Jesus on the cross, to, to be able to carry our cross, and to make sure that, especially during Advent and Lent, that, that we are making ourselves uncomfortable. So this is where we get the idea of almsgiving and doing acts of penance. Uh, of course, uh, these, these words are not wanted to be heard in the 21st century. Uh, the same uh, individuals in the monastery that uh, John of the Cross was in is really ones that we have in our secular society. Oh, Father, stop talking about sacrifices. As a matter of fact, let's just make ourselves happy in this world. And, and don't ask us to do anything that makes us uncomfortable. Well, it's not the way it is to be supposed to be with Christians. What we're doing is going back to an old pagan idea that was promoted by Aristotle. And that was, of course, what is our ultimate goal? Leisure. Our ultimate goal is to be able to sit around and, and just be able to enjoy life and, and not to do anything else. And, and besides, and this is the other part that we have in our secular society, when it comes right down to it, there is no God. There is no God. If there is no God then why make ourselves un uncomfortable? As a matter of fact, all we have to do is live for, for happiness, to, for, for leisure. And of course, to recognize that it really doesn't make any difference in the end anyway, because if there is no God, there is no heaven. And all of a sudden we get back to John Lennon's imagine. Imagine that there is no heaven, there is no hell. And then what we'll be able to do is once we can imagine these things is then to really live like we're supposed to for nothing. Of course, this is a message that our world is uh, living in, in a, in a state of darkness. What we need to be as Christians is not to be afraid to be able to, to do things that are sacrificial in our lives, to demonstrate to the world how much we believe as Catholics and as Christians in the world to come, so much so that we are able, willing to give up the comforts of this world for the sake of God and the sake of those individuals who are sinners and those individuals who are away from the church, those individuals that need to come to conversion. We join Jesus Christ on the cross, and this is really the summary of, of St. John of the Cross, to recognize that in this is our triumph, and that when we are allowing ourselves to put ourselves on the cross with Jesus, great miracles can occur. The reforms in the world can occur. And of course, we do this in faith, knowing that Jesus will never be outdone in love. So 
like I say, next year, get ready. I'm going to be uh, doing a little bit more in, in terms of almsgiving, giving to the poor, giving from what we have, and most especially acts of penance and, and to be able to maintain a balance in our lives, but to recognize how important penance is to a Christian and that we embrace it as John of the Cross wanted to embrace it with his Carmelite brothers and sisters. So with that, let us now stand together, asking God to, to hear us as we do call out to him, and, and also during this uh, Advent season to, to bless us as we make that, that journey to, uh, to the stable, to that journey to see the Christ child in a, in, in a trough, and to recognize in this humility that we have the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords, so, Heavenly Father, help us uh, during this Advent season to, to be able to recognize those who, who are in desperate need, those who are truly uh, not having adequate housing, clothing, and food, and feeling the stings that we do have, especially now that the weather has gotten cold here in South Dakota in particular. And we are very sensitive to our neighbors, and, and we don't just uh, pray for them, but also come to, to aid them as well. Heavenly Father, help us to recognize those that, that do need us, uh, uh, need our help during this period. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Now, Heavenly Father, we also want to pray for those who are spiritually poor, those who are starving to death spiritually, and, and through the intercession of John of the Cross, that, that they will also come uh, uh, to a conversion themselves and to find the light that is Jesus Christ, we pray to the Lord. Lord and Heavenly Father, help us to not to uh, to shy away from carrying our crosses that you give us. That that is by the example of Saint Teresa and and Saint John of the Cross. That that we may embrace the cross and and uh, find solace and also comfort in in making sacrifices in your in your name. We pray to the Lord. Lord and Heavenly Father, as our Advent season it is coming to a close. We we ask you to, to be with those individuals that, that so uh, much want to uh, be closer to you. Heavenly Father, help our parishes during this time to, to be able to be enlightened and spiritually awakened and fed. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Now, Heavenly Father, we do pray for our diocese as uh, Bishop Donald has consecrated the diocese uh, to uh, the patronage of, of Mary. Heavenly Father, keep our diocese close to her under her mantle that, and by her protection that she can make intercession to, to her son, our Lord Jesus Christ, that together in common prayer that, that we may be protected from all evils, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And to that, Heavenly Father, we now also want to give you thanks. Uh, looks like where there has been a, a vaccine developed and and now this vaccine is being distributed throughout the United States, in particular those who so desperately are in need of the vac this vaccine. Heavenly Father, may, may the research that has uh, gone into developing this vaccine find itself in fruition and, and cure for a world so desperately in need of, of healing. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And of course, now I want to make an intercession for, for Monsignor uh, um, uh, Burian uh, uh, just got word yesterday that he came down with a coronavirus and and is now uh, at Avera. Heavenly Father, for all of those who have been affected by the coronavirus, but in particular, we remember Monsignor Burian. We ask that you bring your healing hand upon them, that they will too be able to overcome this this disease and and find new life in you. We pray to the Lord. Lord hear our and now we turn to you and present you those individuals who have gone before us, marked with a sign of faith. We remember Avis in particular, but of all our holy dead. Again, recognizing we don't live for this world, but for the world to come. May they share the promise of eternal happiness with you and eternal life. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Now we present you those petitions that we hold dearest to our hearts, in particularly remembering those that are be calling to re uh, religious life, that they will put aside the noises of this world and, and to hear you calling out to them. For all of these, we pray to the Lord. Lord hear our prayer. God, our Father, it is so true that 
silence uh, gives, uh, especially Americans, a great amount of discomfort. But yet it is actually in the silence that we can come to hear you setting aside the noises of this world. Now through the intercession of St. John of the Cross, we now present to you these petitions asking you to make perfect what is imperfect by such models as Avila and St. John, John of the Cross, that, that we too may come closer to know Jesus Christ in his cross. Now we present these petitions to you through our mediator, who is Jesus, our Lord, our master, our eldest brother, who know lives and reigns with you, and the Holy Spirit is one God forever and ever. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands, for we come for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands, become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Look upon the sacrificial, uh, the, the sacrificial gifts we offer, Almighty God, in commemoration of St. John of the Cross, and grant that we who celebrate the mysteries of the Lord's passion may imitate what we now enact through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just. Our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and God, through Christ our Lord. For as on the festival of St. John of the Cross, you bid your church rejoice. So too you strengthen her by the example of his holy life, teach her by his words of preaching, and keep her safe in answer to his prayers. And so with all the company of angels and saints, we sing the hymn of your praise as without end we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, you took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and drink from it, for this is a chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me.
the mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection, you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks you've held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and Donald, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed uh, Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and Glorious Martyrs, and with all the saints who's, uh, uh, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, that we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and, praise, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will. Live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. And as we honor St. John of the Cross, let us turn to our word among us, or you're living with Christ, and, and say together the communion antiphon, whoever wishes to come after me must deny himself, take up his cross, and follow me, says the Lord. And again, in your uh, charity, do remember to pray for uh, Avis, for the repose of her soul, from we offer this Mass. 
And of course, uh, Monsignor Burian, uh, who is now struggling himself with uh, uh, the COVID uh, virus. Let us pray. O God, who in St. John have wonderfully made known the mystery of the cross, graciously grant that drawing strength from this sacrifice, we may cling faithfully to Christ and labor in the church for the salvation of all. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. So as we're getting outside of Lent, uh, I mean Advent, uh, and now, of course, I'm planning for Lent, uh, and we're, I'm going to talk about this more during Lent, too, the, this importance of not only just almsgiving, which is, you know, uh, giving money, basically, in, in the United States, giving money to the poor and, and helping uh, charity uh, uh, activities, charitable activities, but also this other element of, of doing penitential things, uh, uh, sufferings, if you like, uh, sacrifices. I'm going to talk about this more and more uh, as Lent gets, uh, we get into Lent. Uh, but now, of course, uh, pray for me because uh, unlike St. John of the Cross, I don't like being poisoned, you know, but but it is something that we need to start doing as as a, as a Catholic church. Uh, we, there's a lot of aversion here in the United States for, for doing penances, and, and they see it as so arcane or so, so medieval, and it isn't the case at all. It is part of who we are as, as Catholics, and, and regretfully, uh, I'm afraid we've just gotten a little too uh, secularized in, in our approaches, especially to seeing the value of, of doing uh, physical sacrifices and physical penances for literally God's sake. So we'll talk about that later, but enjoy Advent. Uh, you still have a lot of things to be able to, to be able to understand in the mysteries of Advent, but hopefully we can grow. We will be growing in the year of uh, 2021 uh, in these areas that the great mystics and saints uh, uh, taught us, but we are tending to, to forget about. The Lord be with you. And with your May Almighty God bless you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace. Thanks be to God.